Hi Gemini, welcome to your December 2017 love reading. It's Raina here. And uh, before I begin, I just wanted to let you know that I'm offering 20% off of all my readings through the end of December with the coupon code JUPITER, all in caps. And I think that is important from what I gather, that it all be in caps. And I'm shuffling the cards. Anything else to add? I think I'll leave it there. Oh, well, I do have a, another series of love readings that I've already posted for Gemini. Check my channel. It's for people in relationships that are troubled that want to go back with that person uh, if they are separated or they want to heal the the current relationship so I guess I wanted to call attention to that one Okay, let me see what is happening. Okay, the overall picture theme focus is the Eight of Swords. This is a card of self limiting beliefs that keep somebody in a state of, in a personal prison. Okay, now you are swords, Gemini. Like this card depicts, the swords relate to communication, to thoughts. And it's Gemini, it's Aquarius, it's Libra. So the three air signs connect with swords. And in terms of if this is you, yeah, of course this is probably you because it's something within you that makes you feel trapped. But it's what you may not realize is that you're telling yourself this and you're creating your own chains that don't have to be there. What are examples of self-limiting beliefs? Saying this is the, okay, an example would be this is the best I can do. If I'm in a relationship with somebody and I'm not happy, I mean, what would happen if I didn't have this relationship? I might have to be alone and that would be, I can't just, even, I can't even think of that. And it's not easy to leave a relationship, especially if you've been with a person for a long time. So it's not like you can just snap your fingers and you're okay with it. I'm not saying that. But it starts with believing that something can change within you. That's the first step. And that's what's so important is having confidence that you can have a good life for yourself. But if you can't even conceive of it, then that is going to further imprison you. In the past position, we have the Four of Swords, which is like a, a retreat position. So you may have um, met somebody in the past uh, that was an air sign. So it may not have to do with retreat. It may just have to do with the fact that they are also an air sign. And either their son is an air sign or they have a very strong air in their chart. And uh, it is now deteriorated. That relationship has deteriorated into something negative. Or it could simply be that um, you have taken some time for yourself after having been in this type of um, oppressive relationship and you feel that it's not going to get better, okay? So especially if you're somebody who's single, you may have been alone for a long time and you don't see any end in sight. And what we have here is actually a very positive card. 
the, the Queen of Pentacles indicates personal um, financial sustenance and comfort, like being affluent, being comf financially comfortable, having a nice home. So even if you are alone, you still have some good things. Maybe it's just a matter of counting your blessings. Um, I realize that just being materially secure is not enough to be happy, but it can be if, you know, not in and of itself, but it can be if you're able to flip the script around and see your life from a different perspective. And um, I'm reading Byron Katie's new book, and, and Byron Katie has um, has a, a system, I guess you would call it, for self-inquiry called the work and and she says she there are four questions and one of them is is that true you know about any question anything that you say any statement that you think and then you say what would I be without this thought so any thought that we have we can really question it's it's um actual veracity I mean just because you think something doesn't make it true and even if it is true, there's a way of flipping things around, of seeing it from a different angle. And it's really our thoughts that make us unhappy more than the actual things that are happening. It's how we perceive a particular situation. And I believe that a lot of Gemini people can appreciate what I'm saying because you are mental people, and I don't mean crazy, I mean you're people who approach things from an analytical point of view, an uh, intellectual point of view. So the problem, a lot of um, the suffering that we experience is identifying with our thoughts, and that's what that Eight of Swords is all about. It's about being trapped by your thoughts because you think that they are you. If you can have a thought and see it as independent of your core being, then you start to distance yourself from your thoughts, and that's the first step towards freedom. The higher message is the moon card. Now, you do have a full moon in your sign, and this is on December 3rd, so it's possible that you will have an epiphany, some sort of ending, uh, a chapter closing in your life, that allows you to move on with things. If you have um, started a relationship with somebody represented by the Four of Swords, you may find out about something. This is a spiritual position, this card. So it might be that either you will, your higher self will provide you the illumination of the situation or simply that you may find something out, something will come to pass, and that this will be the catalyst for you to kind of escape that prison. Because sometimes uh, one of the reasons that people feel that sense of confusion or crazy making is because the other person is not being honest with them. And so they start to question, well, maybe they're right, maybe I'm the crazy one. I mean, I really believe that they're cheating, or I really believe that they're lying to me, um, but I can't prove it, and so I'm having all these feelings about it, but what if they're right, and I'm the crazy one, and I'm just imagining these things? And um, so sometimes with the, the, the moon um, card, they're talking about things being kept from you. But again, this is the spiritual message. So more than just actual uh, predictions or anything like that, it's talking about your own spiritual development. Do you tend to put yourself in a position where you there's some there's something that comes in that is pointing in one direction, and if you don't like what that is, you kind of turn blind eye. 
And um, so you may be deluding yourself because that's what the moon card can represent too, is self delusion. Um, it does connect with Pisces, which has uh, that Neptune, Neptunian influence of deception, but it can be self-deception. It can be something that we tell ourselves about a situation that just isn't true. What crosses you is the Page of Swords. So again, getting another Swords card that may be talking about an individual who is really bad news in your life but you can't seem to shake for whatever reason. If this person is a Libra, for instance, because that just came into my mind, this person may be very charming, and you may fall into their trap because they have a part of themselves, like charming um, sociopath or something like that. And some people are very alluring, and yet they have another side to them that is, is a nightmare. Um, but this particular personality trait, the person may be actually, uh, because it's a page, they could be emotionally undeveloped. And so they have a very low threshold for any kind of discomfort or anything like for stress. And they, they're very, it, for some of them, can be very paranoid and uh, thin-skinned, always accusing you, projecting, you know. They they accuse you of doing things, reading, reading into what you say in a negative light because they have very low self-esteem. But they're the ones that are always on edge and, and ready to pounce, ready to feel offended because of their own psychological problems. So, um, the, oh, you know, another thing too, is we are having a Mercury retrograde in December from, from the date of that full moon in your sign all the way to the 22nd of the month. So that could also be because this, if I would have put it in a different way, it would be reversed. I mean, I re I'm reading it as a reverse card. Pages can be messengers and that connects to Mercury. So, Look to that period of time in December for somebody to come back into your life who maybe is is like the worst thing for you, but they're new and improved and they have all these promises and stuff like that because you know that people can promise everything. Um, I'm not saying that n no one can change, but I'm just saying to be... On the lookout because in the upright position the page of swords is about doing your homework and really um, paying attention to small details if somebody comes at you and maybe somebody you've dealt with in the past and they have all these promises it's not that you say oh I don't believe you no pe people don't change but likewise you don't just accept them back into the fold, you, you stand uh, vigilant and see how they act. See if they've changed. Watch them over a period of time um, when the novelty has worn off and see if they are still maintaining an even keel and, and really seem to be sincere about wanting to be different. The advisor, what's coming in, is represented by the emperor. The emperor is a card of someone who is in control. Now, this could be an Aries person. It does connect to Aries. Um, doesn't have to be the sun sign, but a strong Aries presence would be somebody who is very vital, uh, energetic, and sometimes very assertive or aggressive, but not in necessarily a negative way. Um, but it can be somebody who is in law enforcement or in, what do you call it, um, the military. And that person could be coming into your life. But uh, it could very well be something 
regarding you where you feel more in control of your life now. Maybe this is a situation where you released yourself. The Eight of Swords, maybe you finally broke through and released yourself from the oppression and this is the aftermath. Because I get another card in the outcome position, the Knight of Swords, that could be a judge's decision. So you may be uh, looking at divorce and maybe around the time of the um, new moon in Sagittarius, um, which is your seventh house of committed partnership, but it could be legal decisions. Um, so that could be a judge's decision, but it could be a facet of you with the emperor. These are both, um, and the emperor could be a judge too, by the way, somebody who has to make wise decisions, but it could be a facet of you where you are taking control of your life and you're taking control of your thoughts with the king of swords um, and learning how to detach better so that you can have mastery over your emotions because you may be uncharacteristically emotional right now and confused. The, the moon card can also indicate confusion uh, because there may have been somebody that you had to separate from or leave who that you who you actually loved and yet you you realize that you couldn't be with them that something was just um constantly problematic in that situation so obviously um some of these cards may not resonate with all of you but uh hopefully some of them did Gemini, and I hope you enjoyed this, and have a great December. Bye.